Reference Location series of YouTube tutorials. Today we're doing second order differential equations in MATLAB using ODE45 Runge Kutta. So we have the second order differential equation there d2y dt squared plus 3dy dt plus 2y equals 4e to the minus 2t minus 5. Initial conditions y0 is 2 and y dash y prime dy dt, whatever you want to put it is minus 1 and the time span is 0 to 10. Now for the slightly difficult bit we have to break this second order differential equation down into two first orders. So what we say is we let x1, z1, whatever it is, x1 equals dy dt and we let x2 equal dy dt. So x1 prime or the derivative of x1 is dy dt and then we substitute x2 for dy dt and if we carry on x2 prime x2 dot is the differentiation with respect to t of dy dt and that's d2y dt squared. So I rewrote the equation there from there down to there and now we just brought everything across so d2y dt squared bring the 3 dy dt across bring the 2y across and the 4e to the minus 2t minus 5 is there just scram scrape that in there and now rewrite this in terms of x so d2y dt squared is 4e to the minus 2t minus 5 uh, minus 3 times dy dt and what is dy dt it, that's x2 and minus 2y is minus 2 times x1 because remember we said x1 prime was dy dt so x1 must be y okay so that's that. I might leave that there for a sec. So here's the script. We look at the function in a second. There's my two initial conditions. Uh, 2 and minus 1. So we write that there as a row vector. 2 minus 1, remember the space in MATLAB gives you um, column 1 to column 2. The time span is 0 to 10 in steps of point 1. Grant. T and Y are my numerical integrations. ODE45 is calling the Runge Kutta method. Func 4, function 4, that contains uh, the second order broken down into two first orders. There's the time span. And there's the two initial conditions. So let's have a look at that first. So there we are. The two inputs are called t and x and the output is p dot. And the p dot will contain the numerical uh, approximation to the solution of the first first order and the second first order. The first first order is simply x2. Remember in there x will have be what? I have to go back to here. x will contain two values. What are the two values? The two initial ones. 2 and minus 1. So x1, 1, 1 is 2. And x1, 2 is minus 1. So when we go back to here, your man there is going to be equal to minus 1. That's the initial approximation. And p dot 2 is... the uh, the second first order differential equation and where did I get that from? I got that from there. Just give, leave that up a second. So that goes in there and then I initialize this and this is a little trick because the, we want them to get them as a column vector so x coming in will be a, a one row by two columns, yeah. So we have that coming in there, sorry. Two rows by one column, apologies. I wrote it, you can see it there, two rows by one column. So when we run the ODE45, that's the ODE45 approximation to the first first order and then to the second first order. Go back to here. I'll have to explain these two guys a second. Let's just run that. Now, 
And as I say to my own students, there's no title, there's no X label, there's no Y label, there's no legend, but let's just explain what's going on here. So Funk 4 contains the two first first order differential equations. T and Y, there's T there, and you have two Ys. So Y, all the rows, column 1. There, what the colon, comma 1 means, all the rows in column 1. That's the solution to the first first order. And the second one here, Y, colon comma two that's the solution to the second first order and if you're new to matlab here we just go back to here a sec to hold on if we have plot followed by a plot if we didn't have to hold on we get two separate plots but i want one figure with the two plots on it so how i do that is say hold on and that keeps it i it won't hold on as i could say plot 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 and i get four or five plots on top of each other and then I want to release that command and I say plot off. Okay, so I hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.